It's NLW Figs here back again with another video. Today, my vlog of Clash at the Castle 2022. I had an awesome time in Wales at this event and I'm showing you a couple of highlights from my trip. But before I do, make sure you like the video if you enjoy and subscribe to NLW Figs for more wrestling figure content. But here is just some of the highlights from my trip. Of course, Cardiff was a really, really nice place to be. Um, so many cool restaurants and bars and things, including a nice little uh, shop uh, advert that I thought was quite amusing. Um, so after we'd had lunch and everything, it was time to go into the stadium. And you know what? It looks a lot smaller in person than it did on TV. When I watched it back, I was like, oh my God, because we were literally like right at the back. So the worst seats in the house, but hey, got a ledge for my drinks and food. So wasn't all bad. And this is just some of the action that I managed to catch. Again, it's going to be flipped just for copyright reasons. I'm not sure how uh, hard WWE comes down on this kind of thing, but thought I'd try it out anyway. Just a couple of highlights for you guys. So the stadium itself, really cool building in the uh, Principality. And obviously uh, Michael Cole, a big favorite of mine, as we see some of the highlights from the show. It got started and man, the crowd was hot from start to finish. It was a really, really cool atmosphere. You know, Bailey was getting loads of cheers. This was probably my favorite match of the night was Gunther and Sheamus. And we also had some cool stuff with Riddle and Rollins. Again, Rollins was super over here in Cardiff, Wales, but then we come on to one of the most shocking moments of the night. It was Edge and Rey Mysterio taking on the Judgment Day. And after that matchup, I was just filming the celebrations, you know? I thought, hey, I might catch something cool between these guys. But what I didn't expect was this to happen. And uh, let me tell you, uh, apologies for voice cracks in this video, because it did catch me by surprise a lot. And if we thought that was going to be the saddest thing of the evening, uh, we were very wrong. Now, I was very bold in my predictions before the event. I thought that Drew McIntyre, like many people in that arena, thought he was going to go out as the WWE Champion. But what happened? Uh, that damn Solo Sokoa. He got involved. I was filming. I was ready for the celebration. But then Drew McIntyre, he hits the claymore. But unfortunately for him, doesn't quite go to plan for Drew McIntyre. That was the moment that everyone's heart in the arena sank. Of course, Tyson Fury coming out to sing. It didn't really put a damper on things, or at least it didn't lift our spirits. Um, yeah, a real shame. Really thought that Drew had it won. But then after the show, some fan tried to run in for some strange reason. But that's it for Clash at the Castle. And I can't be too disappointed. It was a really fun time, and I'd love to go back to a stadium show that WWE puts on again. Uh, it just makes me realize how much I've missed going to live wrestling over the past couple of years. But what did you think of the video? And did you attend Clash at the Castle? What did you think of the show? Let me know in those comments below and like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe as well for more wrestling figure content, and I'll see you guys later.